In this video, we are going to teach you the best way to teach a baby to get down from standing. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren Baker, a pediatric physical therapist, and on this channel, we teach proactive parents how to help their babies move better. Think of me as your pediatric physical therapy bestie here to help you learn tips and tricks to help your babies move with confidence and ease. In today's video, we are going to teach you a way to teach your baby to get down from standing. Now, we're going to cover different things like what age should your baby go from standing to sitting, how to help them and support them get down from standing to sitting, when you should be concerned and seek help if your baby is not showing the ability to squat and pick up a toy from the floor on their own or transitioning from standing to sitting on their own and ways that you can absolutely help your baby master this skill. One of my favorite things is to see the transition of parents when they realize that they can have so much influence on their child's ability to move. Getting out of standing can be a pretty difficult task for babies at the start. It's really one of the first ways in which they have to control gravity as they go do an intentional task. So if we think of gravity as always trying to push babies to the floor, they have to be in a standing position and then control their weight as they go down to either sit on the floor or pick up a toy from the floor and then stand back up. Think of how for you, it's harder to go down the stairs than it is to go up the stairs. Going down the stairs is requiring you to control your body as gravity influences and makes the, the task harder. Going up the stairs, you're able to use a different style of contraction called concentric contraction of the muscles. It tends to require a little bit less effort or workload. Going down the stairs is eccentric controlling. It's literally doing a single leg squat. And that's similar when you go from pulling to stand, which is a concentric muscle contraction, which is a little bit easier. And then standing to squatting is a harder contraction. That's that eccentric control. You have to move slower, control the motion a little bit more. You might be asking yourself, at what age should my baby be able to go from standing to sitting or transition from standing to pick up a toy off of the floor. And as always with baby development, that age is a range. And so typically babies are doing and showing that activity at around seven to 12 months. Now, if your baby is older than 12 months and is not showing any signs of trying to pick any toys off the floor and then going back into standing or isn't showing the ability to go from standing either with support or without support into a sitting position on the floor after the age of 12 months, it is always recommended to reach out to a pediatric physical therapist or a pediatric physiotherapist. You can also schedule a parent consultation online with me by checking the link in the pinned comment. Let's get into how you could help your baby master this milestone with some strategic play positions. And then when we're here, I'm gonna be behind her and we're gonna come sit down, yeah. No thanks. We are everything is in the mouth right now. How about this one? I love how motivating like Mardi Gras beads are, but I always want to be like really careful because you just, you just don't know. You just don't know. Good job. Good job, girlfriend. Whew. 
Whew. Yeah. And so this little one, oh, you knocked your noggin on the couch? Go get it, go get it, boop. So this little one is doing so good, but we got a little bit, we're kind of spending a little bit more time with our knees locked out. And so we need to build that strength. And what this toddler squat position is gonna do is it gonna, it's gonna help her build strength in a efficient way. So just baby squats all day long, mamas. Baby squats all day long. And before each one, I reposition her feet a little bit more neutral now. I don't wanna go past her level of resistance. Hi, hey, good job. Well, that one was a little crazy. Yeah, hey, that one's a little crazy. Yeah. Good job. All right, oh, is our body wild? Miss Lauren needs a break. Oh. Oh, whew, I gotta extend my back. Yeah, good job, go rolling. And then when a kiddo is in standing, the best way to get them down is to practice going down to squat. So again, you want kind of that C shape curve. You want something to brace their squat, like your leg or a cushion. We're gonna go down, 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 boop. Good work, and then you can stand up, and then you can work on squats from that position as well. Lift, pop, 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 pop. Down, good job. Oh, look what you got. Look what you got. Yeah, we're gonna keep those knees in line. Good work. Oh, what it's, and now it's down here. <gasps> hey, you. What if all the toys are down here? Uh-oh, now they're down here. Yeah. Should we go down? Should we go down, should we go down and get them? Yeah, good work, good work. So I want those knees and those ankles to be forward, yeah. Those knees to be, and ankles to be forward, and those hips to be more narrow. I truly believe that parents are so capable in helping their children move and progress faster with a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of time and understanding of how they can truly impact their own child's development, especially help them get stronger. So if you do, after watching this video, have more questions, again, I really encourage you to check out the pinned comment and schedule a parent consultation. If you are still curious about more things that you can do to help your baby master walking and get stronger, I encourage you to watch the Learning to Walk playlist because that is gonna have all of the puzzle pieces and all of the videos that I've created that would possibly help a child walk with more confidence and ease.